We are covering Colorado First tonight with important updates on two critical issues for parents. First, the baby formula shortage help from overseas has arrived in the United States. Military cargo planes arrived in Indianapolis over the weekend with formula from Europe. But this shipment will not help with the shortage in stores. This is going to hospitals and doctor's offices. Also tonight, positive news for parents who want to get their younger kids vaccinated against COVID. Doses could be available in a matter of weeks. We do have team coverage on these developments for you tonight. Tori Mason covering the next steps in the vaccine rollout. We begin with Alan Janay and the formula shortage. And Alan, you found that parents simply can't wait any longer. Well, that's true, Karen. When there are hungry mouths to feed, you can understand that no parent would want to wait for a shipment of formula. I've heard stories of parents driving for hours from store to store to store to try and find infant formula. The good news is that we found is that people and organizations here along the front range are willing to help find formula and mother's milk. This is my little girl. Her name's Amara. Julia Walker has a little girl to worry about. We were trying to get her to go from formula to whole milk and you have to mix it and there was none. It got her to think about what others are going through. I'm worried about parents reaching a point of fear and desperation that they don't know what else to do. And so they start using things that maybe they shouldn't or they dilute. So she stepped in. So this is the donations that we received today. And as soon as it comes in, it goes right back out. It's chaotic. It's it's a beautiful mess is what it is. With many store shelves bare, they're sharing word where to find formula and delivering some of it right to homes. In Arvada at the Children's Health Foundation, they're very busy processing and pasteurizing mother's milk. So it is definitely a bit of a stressor to try and increase our production to this level. The organization has always provided milk to neonatal intensive care babies and is now reaching out more. Those babies get our priority, but ideally we'll have enough for everyone. And that's really what we're trying to strive for. A critical situation that can't be ignored. At the end of the day, I don't care how exhausted I am because I know that the food that we're getting out, the formula that we're getting out is making a positive impact in our community. The Rocky Mountain Children's Health Foundation is looking for more donors of Mother's Milk. You can reach out to them at their website if you're able to donate. Julia's organization, by the way, was started a couple of years ago during COVID to help feed people affected by COVID-19. Now they've pivoted to this. She has volunteers helping, including one who will get up tomorrow morning, drive from here up to Greeley and back just to pick up six cans of infant formula to be delivered. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First.